I recently had a few people ask me if I stretched my watercolor paper. The answer is yes, sometimes. For any paper that I want to use that is light or medium weight, typically 140 pounds and larger than say nine by 12 inches, I do stretch the paper before painting on it. The reason you need to stretch lightweight cotton paper is because as water is applied, the fibers in the paper expand. And as the paper begins to dry, it shrinks back causing warping and buckling and unevenness on your paper. This can be really annoying when you're painting because the paint and the water will pool and run into those valleys on the paper. Pre-stretching your paper will solve this problem. If this sounds like a lot of work, there are other options. For example, you do not need to stretch 300 pound paper, but for some artists, this heavier paper can be prohibitively expensive. So if you're painting on a budget, buying large sheets and stretching the cheaper paper is a great option. In this video, I'll show you step-by-step step how I stretch my watercolor paper. Here are the supplies you'll need. A bathtub or a large plastic tub filled with clean, cool water. A staple gun and staples. A gator foam board or a waterproof board capable of taking staples and a little larger than your paper. A sheet of 140 pound cotton watercolor paper sized to accommodate an extra half inch border around the edges. Make sure you have all your supplies laid out and ready to go before you begin. I'm gonna be stretching a sheet of Arches standard 22 by 30 inch, 140 pound cold press paper. You can buy these standard size single sheets for around $8 each or packs of five for about $35 from Blick. In contrast, the heavier 300 pound paper in this same size is nearly $20 per sheet. So for just a little extra work on your part, you can save a lot of money by stretching the lighter paper. Start by filling your bathtub with clean, cold water. Make sure there is no soap or oil residue in your tub, or this can leave spots on your paper. Place your watercolor sheet in the water. You can press it down a little bit to cover with the water. Set your timer and let the first side soak for three to five minutes. Flip the paper over and soak the other side for three to five minutes. You'll know your paper is completely expanded and soaked when you pick it up and it behaves like a limp rag. Lift your paper from the water and let any excess water drain off one corner. Center the paper on your gator board. Take a clean sponge, a soft cloth, or a paper towel and wipe off any remaining excess water from the center working outward. And this also helps remove any buckling that might have occurred as you've laid it flat on your board. Don't overdo this. Be very gentle with your paper. Now using your staple gun, staple the edges starting from the center of each side and gradually working out towards the corners. Apply your staples fairly close together. Mine are usually about an inch or an inch and a half apart. Some artists use water activated gum tape to secure their paper to the board. This method can be unreliable, so I find that staples are the best. The only disadvantage is that you sacrifice those outer edges of your paper. Let your paper dry for 48 hours before painting on it. Lay it flat to dry. If you set it upright on an easel, for example, some of the extra moisture can run down to the bottom of the board, causing the paper to expand more at the bottom and popping out the staples. Keep your paper affixed to the board while you're painting. Then when you're finished and you remove the staples, your painting will be completely flat and ready to frame. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and check out these other videos with watercolor tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.